welcome back to Talk Techie, where we explore how science, technology, engineering, and math are used every day in out of this world ways. NASA's Orion spacecraft travels 25 times faster than the speed of sound when it re-enters Earth's atmosphere, and landing it safely is no easy task. Today, we talk to Orion heat shield engineer, Brian Hindi, who will show us how he uses physics to help astronauts return to Earth safely from space. Get ready to buckle your seatbelts. A lot of homework goes into launching a spacecraft and safely bringing it back to Earth after the mission is over. Physics plays a central role in the middle of it all. Understanding the physical principles of friction and aerodynamics allows us to calculate a safe re-entry. The Orion crew module, which is mounted on top of NASA's SLS rocket or the Space Launch System, reaches speeds of around 11 kilometers per second when it's blasted into space as it journeys to the moon. Once Orion completes its mission, it burns its main engine to escape the lunar gravity and come back home. Now here's where things start to get really exciting. As Orion approaches the atmosphere, it's traveling at the same speed as when it broke from Earth's gravity, around 11 kilometers per second. The only way that Orion can slow down and safely reach the surface starts with the heat shield. Friction and air resistance in the atmosphere cause extreme heat. It's similar to rubbing your hands together for warmth, but only a much hotter scale. This process is called aerothermal heating, which means as the spacecraft encounters air resistance and reduces its speed, its kinetic energy is converted to heat, reaching temperatures of up to 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The shape of Orion's heat shield is designed to redirect those extreme temperatures while also slowing it down to a safe speed, which will allow the parachutes to deploy for a soft ocean landing. Our engineers are able to calculate the proper shape and composition of the heat shield using physics and mathematics, including the equation for kinetic energy, or E equals 1 half mv squared. Here's how that works. E is the kinetic energy, m is the mass, and v is the velocity. So if we take half of the mass of Orion, which is about 10,500 kilograms, and multiply it by its velocity of 11,000 meters per second squared, we find that our kinetic energy as we re-enter the atmosphere is close to 640 gigajoules, or units of energy. That's about as much energy as an EF3 tornado. It's also around two times the energy that a spacecraft returning from the International Space Station experiences, which is why Orion and its heat shield is the only spacecraft rated for return from deep space travel. You can now unbuckle your seatbelts. Rocket launches are always exciting to watch, but for me, the return to Earth can be just as exhilarating. Thank you so much for talking techie with us today, Brian and make sure you like, comment, and subscribe below. And check out LockheedMartin.com STEM to learn more. I'm Lauren Duda, see you next time.